the people have been asking, where do I stand politically? Well, let me explain to you what centrism is. So here's a political chart. As you can see at the top of the chart, you have authoritarian politics, stuff like Nazis and communists. And then at the bottom of the chart, you have anarchists. So on the bottom left, you'll have anarcho-communism. On the bottom right, you'll have anarcho-capitalism. And here in the center, you have the Overton window. The Overton window is basically where the centrists hang out. Uh, these are people with moderate views who don't really find themselves aligned with one camp or the other. Sometimes they'll have opposing views on political issues, maybe they'll have a mix from different parties, or maybe they'll just have moderate views in general. As you can probably tell, centrists are slime who stand for nothing and have no convictions. That's why I'm an anti-centrist. You see, anti-centrists occupy every extreme of the political spectrum simultaneously. Some people say that means I hold fundamentally incompatible views. I say, send those dissenters to the gulag, and also the gas chambers, and also neither of those things because I don't believe in government? Where I stand politically. Abortion. I'm actually both anti-choice and anti-life. I believe all women should have abortions always. Climate change. I believe climate change is real and man-made. However, I also believe that the earth is flat and all the water is just gonna pour over the side anyway, so we'll be fine. Gay marriage. As an extreme leftist, I do not believe in concepts like gender. So if you think about it, all marriage is gay marriage. And as a right-winger, this disgusts me, so all marriage should be banned. The military. If you ask me right now, we as a society are weak. We need a strong military ruler to take control of our country. Of course, only so that the people at the bottom of his fascist dictatorship could understand their place in the world and lead a just workers' revolt. Of course, that workers' revolt would eventually descend into complete anarchy, which is how we get the anarcho-communist utopia. And then eventually people are going to start bartering for goods and services, and that's how we get the anarcho-capitalist utopia, which will make them so weak due to years of complacency and success that the military takeover no one will see coming, and we can start the process again. This is really the only way to get rid of the centrist once and for all. The mainstream media, uh, I don't like it. Wow, turns out everybody agrees on that. The Purge. Yeah, it could work. Free speech. As a leftist, I'm deeply aware of the fact that the term free speech is kind of a misnomer. Some people don't have access to the same kinds of speech that other people do. As an anarcho-capitalist, I believe that everybody should have access to free speech, provided they can afford it. And we should probably make it like 50% off speech so we can get some revenue coming in. Vaccinations. I've done my research by reading some comments on a forum, and the results are undeniable. Vaccines cause autism. And the power to give anyone autism on demand is a powerful tool that should be used by the state. And besides, if everybody has autism, does anybody really have autism? Separation of church and state. It's clear to me that religion should have no place in politics. Unless, of course, it is the religion of Thum, Dark Lord of the Seas. If we can properly integrate the will of Thum into our state, then I see no reason why we shouldn't all follow his blubbery will. Healthcare. It's called healthcare, and yet it only cares for the sick? This kind of doublespeak is why our government is literally 1984. I say, we make healthcare do what it says and only care for the healthy. Immigration. The sedentary lifestyle is making us fat, sick, and lazy. I propose mandatory immigration to keep us all on our feet. We remove all border security, but you can't stay anywhere for longer than a week. <laughs> Think of the fun! Election meddling. It is a tragedy that for the last 50 years, every single right-wing president that's ever been elected has been 100% because of Russia. However, what people don't seem to understand is that Israel is also meddling with our elections, and they're left-wing, so <laughs> it evens out. Why do you have so many opposing views? Well, it's okay to have opposing views. It shows that you thought about each individual issue. I mean, just because there doesn't exist a party that exactly aligns with your beliefs doesn't mean that it's not okay to have the beliefs that you have. It's easy to fall into a group mentality and just believe what everybody else believes because there's a name for it. There's a convenient basket of ideas you can get all your ideology from. Diversity of thought is important. It's more important than falling into a group. It's important that you think for yourself about each individual issue and come to your own individual conclusions about each issue. That's why I have political beliefs that don't necessarily align with any specific group. It's because it's okay for one mind to contain multitudes.
Oh, hold on. No, no. Actually, it's because I'm schizophrenic and forgot to take my medication this morning. <laughs> Whoops. All better. Vote Bernie Sanders in 2020. I am entirely against the death penalty, except for me. <laughs> Just end it.